Hello folks, this is Paul Bukowski with Online Business Pro Solutions, and today we're going to talk about Shiny Object Syndrome and how it relates to internet marketing. Now just as a very quick side note, next week I'm going to follow up with how you can actually overcome Shiny Object Syndrome. So if you want to get notified about that, hit that like button, subscribe, ring that bell. If you have any questions during the course of this tutorial about this subject or anything regarding making money online, please ask in the comment section below. And if you are legitimately attempting to start a sustainable online business, do yourself a favor. Click on the, on the link below that says Online Business Pro Solutions, and you're going to get free access to the 12-step action plan that I use. What is shiny object syndrome well just to put your fears at rest if you have shiny object syndrome you do not need to seek professional medical assistance shiny object syndrome is not a medically diagnosed disease but it is a psychological tendency to be easily distracted so while you might not need to be worried about this as a physical health risk it does place the future of your online business in imminent danger. Now, before we begin, congratulations are in order. You are an entrepreneur. The fact that you are starting up a business online is proof that you have an entrepreneurial spirit. Now, <laughs> ironically, one of the core traits of an entrepreneur, which is generally defined as a strength, but has a nasty alter ego that makes you vulnerable to shiny object syndrome. Let's go ahead and take a look at the traits of an entrepreneur. Alrighty. You have strong leadership qualities. You're highly self-motivated. You have a strong sense of basic ethics and integrity. Your willingness to fail. You are serial innovators and or serial imitators. Now this particular phrase we're going to get into here in just a little bit. You appear to know what others don't know. You have competitive spirit, and you understand the value of a strong peer network. Okay, now we could add traits to this all day long. This list of eight could be 88. That's not really what we're getting at right now. Overall, I do believe this is a well-rounded description of the traits of an entrepreneur. And just so you know, I borrowed the majority of this from the Minority Business Development Agency, which is a division of the United States Department of Commerce. But what we want to focus on, this isn't a tutorial about the traits of an entrepreneur. It's about shiny object syndrome. So one of the traits that is a strength, but can also be a weakness all at the same time, or that we tend to be serial innovators and or serial imitators. And let me explain that very briefly. Serial innovators, you know, are people who create. They come up with new ideas, new technologies, you know, new business models. You know, they develop products and are constantly launching new products. Now, the majority of people that first get started in internet marketing, there's a handful. There's a handful that start off with a product, but there's the majority, more than likely, while they're feeling their way through, are what I call serial imitators. They use cutting edge, uh, edge technology, they use these tools, and they market them for other people. Just as we're doing here, we're reviewing products, uh, ones that we absolutely believe are beneficial to our clients, we recommend. If not, you know, we try to warn people away. Okay. So when you have that trait or these traits, you're so open, even excited and excitable about cutting edge ideas, technologies and products. That you become easily distracted, you know, by anything that's new and that may be that next big thing. Okay. And you're going to constantly be tempted to ignore your current business model and hopelessly chase rainbows. 
which in our case are shiny objects, in lieu of reality, which should be your current defined game plan. Okay, so when I talk about shiny object syndrome, why internet marketing specifically? Okay, well, first and foremost, primarily because that's why you're here. You're here to learn how to make money online. So internet marketing is first and foremost. But the second reason is because internet marketing is literally or pun intended virtually the new gold rush and it is swarming with opportunists now what is an opportunist just to make it simple i just pulled up a definition via vocabulary.com an opportunist or opportunists are people who see a chance to gain some advantage from a situation often at the expense of ethics and morals an opportunist seizes every opportunity to improve things for him or herself and i'm going to add to that generally speaking at the expense of others <laughs> we're looking at one right here but now I'm sure you are constantly blitzed, as am I, you know, with emails from a never-ending list of marketers regarding the must-have methods, software or coaching you need to succeed, the next big thing guaranteed to make you rich overnight, the only product you will ever need to make it online, push button, money in minutes, pie in the sky dreams, and it can all be yours for just $27. Oh, but, 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 do not forget the upgrades. Because why stop at instant riches when, for a few dollars more, you can make obscene instant riches? I actually pulled these from sales pages on that, you know, on products that are actually being sold right now. Launch a complete e com affiliate business in 60 seconds. Yeah that doesn't happen loaded with thousands of products that give you a hundred percent to five hundred percent profits unlimited free traffic whenever you hear unlimited and free you know especially when it comes to traffic and sales without any manual work yeah that's wrong page one of google and youtube in minutes that doesn't happen either software gets as much free traffic as you want these aren't just gross exaggerations. These are outright lies. And these are what you face constantly. You know, the internet marketing field is rife with these. Now, does that mean there are no honest marketers out there? No, it does not. But you have to be careful. There are a lot of tripwires and landmines out there that you can hit if you don't have a good guide. Okay, so hopefully that's what I'm trying to help you with right now so I can help you work your way through this. And, you know, I get it um, because most of us who start up online businesses, we do fall prey to the allure of minimal investment for maximum income. That is the online pipe dream. That is the marketing mirage that opportunists have created. Now, I'm going to switch over and I'm going to illustrate this for you by showing you a personal example. Alrighty, I just want to show you this as an example that, first of all, understand you're not alone. Um, I've been very successful in business all throughout my life, so I'm no dummy, you know, when it comes to business and making money. Now, I think I got involved in, I started playing around with the idea of setting up some type of online business. It was back around 2010, 2011. So we're talking, what, nine, ten years ago. And I can't even tell you because I didn't keep track of how many products that I purchased through the course of that time. This is a small list of purchases I've made from Warrior Plus 
and JVZoo just in one part of 2018. This isn't even everything that I purchased. And this is only two platforms now. I've purchased other products from other platforms. But this just gives you an idea. I don't mean to make you dizzy by moving so fast, but it's not about seeing what I bought. It's just about seeing how much I bought. And like I said, I like to think of myself as a rather intelligent business person. It's easy to become addicted. And here's the scary part. Out of all these products, I can tell you for a fact that I actually only looked at opened up and, and thoroughly explored maybe and I'm being very generous maybe 50% of these <laughs> most of them are like Christmas presents that they're still wrapped and sitting in the closet somewhere never even opened and of course by now they're so far extinct you know that any softwares or anything they're so outdated more than likely any advice you know from 2011, 2012, you know, even 2018 it is not very good today. You've got to keep up with all the trends, everything that's going on. Now, it doesn't mean you have to buy every new product that comes out, though, and that's the problem. <laughs> that is the problem because a lot of the times you'll see, and I'll bet you, I'll bet you I could take and find five or six products out of this list that if you open them up, put them side by side, they're exactly the same thing. Somebody just found a different way to package them, a different angle to market them. Um, and that's the danger you run into. Those are the shiny objects. So you have to be very discerning when you purchase. Okay. Now, out of all these right here, I went through these before I filmed this. Out of all of this right there. Now, like I said, this is, this is probably less than 5% of everything I've bought over the years. Oh, it's probably 1% maybe of everything I've purchased over the years. Out of all this, though, there's only two products in there that I have actually used and truly feel have provided value for me. So, once again, understand you're not alone. And this is not any type of judgment as to your intelligence or your self-discipline because it is very easy you know we're starting up in something new and so you you are hoping that you can trust people not to lead you down the wrong path but unfortunately unfortunately in this industry it's 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 a big thing okay so I just wanted to cover that with you real quickly so you could see and get an example of one, how expensive this can be. And also, you think in terms of all the lost time. But then you think in terms of it just as an addiction. It's sort of like people sitting at home at night, up all night, buying junk on QVC or, uh, I don't even know, the Home Shopping Network, HSN. Uh, not, not even really needing the product, but it, it becomes an addiction. So, I'm not even just going to blame the opportunists and that that throw that stuff out there. We have to take some type of accountability for ourselves and recognize that we get caught up into this this rut where we just we see something bright and shiny see something new gotta have it gotta have it bam it's it's purchased and nine times out of ten it's absolutely worthless we're throwing our money away and throwing our time away Alrighty, we've talked about what shiny object syndrome is and how prevalent it is with internet marketing okay so the big question I'm sure that's on all your minds is you know how do you know if you have shiny object syndrome odds are you probably already do here we go how do I know if I have shiny object syndrome well basically do what I just did what I just showed you you know make a list Make an inventory of all your purchases pertaining to your online venture. You know, go to Warrior Plus, JVZoo, any other platforms you purchase from. You'll have a whole list on your PayPal account or your bank and credit card records. They're going to show you all the purchases you've made over certain periods of time. So 
put records together make a list set out a spreadsheet of some type if you don't own excel like what i use go to google docs use their spreadsheet it's free and tally up you know how much money did you invest how much and then you know think about it think very hard you know how much time did you invest first did you research these products at all you know how much time did you take just listening to the sales pitch and whatnot did you take time to look at these did you stop possibly the flow of your business to try and uh, this new concept or new idea did you completely switch from one method to a new method okay how much time did you lose okay and have you met with any success using these products you know did you get a return on your investment the odds are the fact that you're here is telling me that that's not necessarily true <laughs> that you you are still struggling you're either really new or you've been around for a while and you're still struggling okay and then the other question is if you're like me um have you even thoroughly opened and explored each purchase or is you or are you is you <laughs> that's good grammar or have you gotten caught up in the addiction to where now you're just buying things for the sake of buying things okay all this together this is going to give you your answer if you are racking up wasted time and money if you are making no or non-consequential and or inconsistent gains with your online business then you my friend are suffering from shiny object syndrome all right folks we're going to wrap this up with a quick summary first and foremost what is shiny object syndrome it's a vulnerability to be distracted by new ideas technologies and products without any discerning strategy to vet their value at the risk of losing some or all of the momentum that you've already gained if you had just stuck with your original business plan or model it's actually you taking your eye off the prize allowing yourself to be a victim desperately wanting to believe that relentless bombardment of promises of something more something bigger something better why internet marketing well as we discussed earlier first it's because making money online is the reason that you're listening to me now but also because the internet marketing niche is overwhelmed with opportunists these are individuals who are more than happy to take advantage of your experience or your inexperience i should say your hopes and dreams and in many cases your desperation and finally you know how do you know if you have the shiny object syndrome make an inventory of your purchases related to your online venture tally up the money and the time that you have invested tally up the returns on those investments and look and see if you've even taken the time to thoroughly explore all the purchases that you've made the odds are if you are just starting out or if you have been at it a while and you're still struggling then you are definitely a victim of shiny object syndrome okay folks that's a wrap this is paul with online business pro solutions once again if you have any questions regarding this subject or anything regarding making money online please ask them in the comment section below if you want to reach out to me some other way you can reach me at skype people 77 email paul at online business pro solutions.com now next week i'm going to be uploading another video and this is critical this is how you can overcome shiny object syndrome or if you're just getting into the business how you can avoid it okay how you can beat this thing so hit that like button subscribe ring that bell so you're going to get notified when i upload any new information whether it be a value pack tutorial or an honest and informed review okay and once again I can't emphasize this enough if you are attempting to start up a legitimate sustainable online business folks do yourself a favor click on that link below that says online business pro solutions and you're going to get free access to the 12-step action plan that i use hey it's been great y'all have a great night you have a great week till next time
take care.